So, I'm here with Rajab. Yes. And Rajab, could you hold up your badge? So sure, you sure, see? sure. Um, great. So, and you're a junior rapporteur here exactly. at the event. Then. Well, tell, tell me why you're here and what you're doing. Uh, actually, I'm here as a rapporteur, as I mentioned before. And What does that, what does that involve? Uh, I'm involved as a, um, on the topic of uh, coping to climate change yeah. and uh, my responsibilities for this kind of activities is to to tap the all the information that is required and those are presented from the different presenters and then we, we summarize them and lastly we write a report so that the different audience who are not here in Stockholm, I mean who are not here in this conference, they can get the message. Yeah. So, so, so and you, you, you study at the Swedish University of Agricultural Science, I mean I presume digesting a lot of the things here about climate change, it requires quite a lot of expertise. So what, what did you study? Uh, my background is the integrated water resource management and uh, I'm just a graduate researcher from Swedish University of Agriculture yeah. Science, as yeah. I mentioned. And uh, I have been involved to this kind of climate change issues. I have been blogging for a couple number of years on this kind of uh, climate changes. Uh, so in short, I have uh, a couple of experience yeah. based on the climate so, change. Uh, so where are you? You're not from Sweden originally, I assume. And where, where are you from? Uh, I'm from least developing country, which is Tanzania, yeah. uh, located in the eastern part of Africa. Uh, of course, it's one of the country which is most vulnerable to climate change issues. Uh, specifically, we are faced with the issue of uh, flooding. Uh, sometimes we are faced with the issue of uh, drought, especially in the central part of Tanzania. So I feel like being here, it could be, I could be a, an ambassador, you know, it's a very important ambassador who can bring the message on how to handle this kind of problems in very sustainable way. Mm -hmm. For example, in the issue of urban water management, we need some integrated approach that will combine different aspects, will combine different solutions. What kind of aspects do you combine? Uh, actually, uh, we have uh, three things. Uh, we need some capacity for the uh, institution itself. And when you say capacity, people say capacity building. It sometimes I don't understand what that means. Uh, capacity building it means that you you lay uh, the people's know-how, you lay the people's their knowledge, mm -hmm. so that they can respond positively they can respond yeah. the issue of climate change with a positive uh, you know okay so that's one and yeah. then you were said there were some others yeah and the, 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 the another one is about the technology because in the least developing country we lack technology and uh, uh, like we need to construct like a Dike, we need to construct like a, a open canals that will be able to transfer the waters, yeah. especially during the flooding seasons. Yeah. So, and uh, also we need some more financial support from the developing from the developing country, yeah. uh, so that we can construct the reservoirs uh, to store our water resources, yeah. so that we can be able to supply the, right. the cities. Well, it's great to meet you, and I know we're, we're hoping to meet some other rapporteurs this week as well who are involved with this but and come back and tell us about some of the things you've learned later in the week if you like as okay well. thank you so, very much thanks Mr. a lot yeah thanks, thanks. Bye. wonderful